dark room fights. This is different, folks. Hold on. Damn it. Oh, okay. So these guys, they run things different than street beefs. You know, the, the way they do them. Definitely isn't like ours, you know. I, I like to feel the street beefs. This has a little more underground feel to it, which is okay. I'm not mad at it. Neil decided he wanted to participate in this because he wanted to test himself and bear up with him. I ain't mad at it. You know? It really was stand up. I was very entertained. His opponent, for those that don't know, is a black belt in karate. Now, people think karate ain't shit. This guy showed otherwise. He gave Neil a great fight. He also has some MMA training, but not as much. Uh, he took karate a lot of his life, but the guy can fight. But I do think that, and this is another reason I'm going to toot the horn of boxing. This guy gassed. You see him gassed. And I'm going to tell you why he gassed. Because throwing those big kicks requires a lot more cardio than throwing punches. Another reason why boxing is so very efficient is because it doesn't utilize as much cardio as twisting your body for big kicks and stuff. Okay? Now, I'm not saying you should never kick. Kicks are a good weapon. But Neil, as you can see, is just um, just boxing. He's just boxing. Karate guy kind of acknowledged there. He got clipped with a couple. Well, he felt those. Trying to fill him out. And he landed a few good leg kicks on Neil here. All right. He landed a few good leg kicks. Oh. And if you think those leg kicks aren't effective and don't hurt, You've probably never been in an MMA match. They do not feel good at all. I mean, this guy's pretty sharp with it. Stand up. I agree. I was so proud of him, dude. So proud because he was seeing. You got to understand, this is the first time Neil fought against this style. This is the first time he had somebody throwing kicks at him. He stayed real calm. Stayed calm. There's a leg kick now. When a motherfucker smiles, that means they felt it. And I, yeah. Neil admitted to me afterwards, he's like, no, those leg kicks were not feeling good. I think that also turned Neil up a little bit, too. It did. He said, man, I got to get this guy out of here. Shannon Briggs fought in a K-1 fight, and uh, famously, he did a, an interview with Joe Rogan. And he said, yo, dude, leg kicked me several times. He said, after about the fifth one, I said, I cannot take another one of these. I've got to get this guy going. And he ended up knocking the guy out. And I believe that's what Neil was thinking. Like, yo, I don't want to feel no more of these kicks. But I felt this was just such a beautiful matchup. There's another, that was a calf kick. That wasn't a thigh kick. Those calf kicks are very effective too. They fucking hurt. <laughs> Neil with a beautiful combo. And at some point, Neil realizes, Neil's condition is second to none. Me and you train with him all the time, you know. Tempted high kick there. Neil defended it well. Karate guy, you can see that he's a, a bit gassed. Neil's still fresh. I mean, you've trained with Neil a thousand times. You can Neil, see. You know, I've seen him go ten, ten or more rounds. You just don't get tired, you know. <laughs> Now, y'all imagine, Neil don't even know real MMA defense. We've taught him a couple of things at the gym, but he, he hasn't really worked MMA defense, and you look how he's defending this. Now, you can see the karate guy, he's kind of he's getting overwhelmed by some of these combos. I want to say shout out to him. I mean, he made this a great fight. Great shot here, my man. Slipping and, yeah, I mean... Yeah, Carissa said money is a force and just a cool cat. He really is. Dump the God said, yeah, I haven't seen him check any leg kicks yet. Yeah, he, and we lectured him 
on checking leg kicks before this fight. We lecture him. And he just didn't do it. And we tried to tell him, like, look, if you don't, your leg will be dead at some point. And guys don't hear me when I say that, but it will literally paralyze. You get kicked in that nerve over and over. It'll deaden your leg. But Neil got lucky in that regard that uh, the damage wasn't too bad for him to keep fighting. But this guy kept with the low attack. I almost think the karate guy didn't focus enough on low. Great overhand by Neil. But then he got clipped there with a left hook. I think he was going somewhere with stuff on his low kicks. Yeah. Hey, Dirk McGurk, what up, bro? Oh, that's it, that's it. Yeah. Let's go! Hey, hey, man. Finish out there, everybody. BKFC. Hey, if you want me, come get me.